Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that kind of started through Instagram, but I just thought that this is a really unique, different way to put out a video to get to know me. So it's kind of like a Q&A where I put out on Instagram for you guys to assume things about me. Then I would obviously answer those questions, whether they are true are false and I got quite a lot of replies so I have them all screenshot here on my phone and I absolutely love these videos like I love Q&A videos like I love makeup tutorials obviously but I just love videos where I am just able to sit down and talk to you guys and interact with you in a way I just like you to get to know me from like behind all the makeup and actually get to know me more as a person. But the first question is by Make Me Up XO. I assume you have a collection of freaky toys after what's in my mouth video. Ha 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 No, there actually is. Ha 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 ha. I, I'm not just taking the piss out of that question. If you didn't watch my what's in my mouth video, I did put a sexual toy in my boyfriend's mouth. Um, no, to answer that question, I don't have a collection of sex naughty frisky toys. <laughs> I actually bought that toy in particular for the sake of the video and it's literally lying in the back of my drawer and I hope to Christ that no one ever finds it because that's actually very embarrassing. Don't get me wrong, like I have nothing against anybody that loves sex toys and stuff like that, but um, I for one don't use sex toys, funny enough. <laughs> I'm not that much of a little minx. <laughs> so Emily Patterson assumed he get on more with males than you do females. Ooh, that's actually quite an interesting one. Um, I kind of go in between, to be honest. I can cater myself for boys and girls, like don't get me wrong, like I do get on with girls really well and the fact that I am like a girly girl because I love my hair and my makeup and shopping and I do have a lot of things in common with other girls, obviously. <laughs> so like obviously like I get on with a lot of girls. I get along with a lot of boys as well. I think it just comes down to the type of person I am and my personality and my sense of humour. Like I would have a very... I don't want to say sick sense of humour. Um, like I just love boy banter, if that makes sense. Like that sense of humour. I would rather sit in a pub full of lads drinking a pint than sitting in a cocktail bar full of women and girls, to be honest. I don't know why I've always just been like that. I just find that boys are just <laughs> better company. <laughs> you know, like there's no drama. There's no like... With boys, it's just so fuss free, no drama, no nothing, like I just find boys in general just better banter to be around and better crack. Don't get me wrong, like I love like my friends company and female company. So uh, bounce that ash underscore assumed you're a fighter lol, like you can be chill but if someone pushes you enough you'll fight. <sighs> Definitely not. Definitely not. If you know me in person, you would know that I am not a fighter. I have never, ever, ever been in a fight in my life. If someone pushes me to the point where somebody else would fight, I just wouldn't fight. Like, I think if someone hit me, they'd knock me out. So I wouldn't be able to fight anyway. Um, but see, whenever it comes to a drama and fighting and just shit like that. I just stay away from things like that. Um, I just do not get myself involved whatsoever. Like even within like the beauty community, there is a lot of clicks in the beauty community and stuff and I like I just kind of like stay away from that. But I'm also like that in real life. I've actually never even had an argument in my life with another girl actually and I just think that comes down to the type of person I am. Like I'm just very easy going. Like anybody can get on with me. You know like I'm just so easy going. I'm just I just float along in between everybody. Whenever it comes to like the last place that I worked or like in a friendship group that I was in years ago, like I would always make this joke as in, why am I always the one that's stuck in the middle? You know, because if there was like beef going on or like pettiness or arguments or like bickering at each other, I was always like stuck in the middle, you know, and I, I never took sides, but I was always like, do 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 to each side as I'm like come on wind your neck and then you know buckle up with it and you know wise up <laughs> just not that type of person so no <laughs> so MEA underscore Amy 2017 assumed that I am a stoner I would actually love to know how you assumed that about me actually <laughs> 
Um, no, I'm not a stoner. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like I do smoke fags, cigarettes, whatever you want to call them, but I do not smoke weed. Like my boyfriend, he smokes weed, cannabis as I say, whatever you want to call it. I have smoked weed before, but I wouldn't be like an actual smoker of it if that makes sense. So no, I am not a stoner. So Texas Beauty Babe assumed you will marry your boyfriend and have two kids. Um, yes, eventually me and Kyle will get married. I'm not very traditional at all in the sense that whenever I do get married, I don't want a big fancy wedding. I don't want to walk down the aisle. I don't want bridesmaids. I don't want a big white dress, you know, like I think if me and Kyle were to ever get married, we would actually go away somewhere. Like I've always said that I've always just wanted to piss off to Vegas and <laughs> like some Elvis impersonator Marius or something. Everybody's different and you 100% have to respect that and I'm the type of person that I do respect everybody's way of living. Um, but that's just not for me having a big glamorous wedding. I think it's the fact that I just don't see the point in it. It's a lot, a lot of money and it's just a waste of money in my opinion for the fact that it's just a piece of paper. Like, will we get engaged anytime soon? No. Will we get married anytime soon? No. But yeah, we'll get married eventually and kids. <laughs> kids is a very touchy subject with me. <laughs> I don't want kids. I've never wanted kids and I'm so lucky that I have actually found someone that is on the same page as me because Kyle also doesn't want kids. I think whenever you are with someone for so long and you are intent on being with someone for so long and the rest of your life and get married and stuff, I think these are the things that you really need to talk about such as marriage and kids because say for example me and Kyle do get married down the line and he's like right when are we going to start a family and I'm like <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> you know, that can cause some tension, but I'm definitely not maternal. Like, I, it, it's just something that I don't want for myself. Like, I love kids and I love babies. Um, well, I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of kids, to be honest, but I don't mind them. <laughs> but no, it's just not really something that I have ever wanted for myself. But like, sometimes it is a wee bit of a touchy subject with me whenever it comes to kids, because I think people just need to respect everybody else's opinions on it. Like, women are not put on this planet to breed. You know, like, in this day and age, women don't stay at home. You know, like, they have careers, they are their own boss, like, they're not meant to be at home and fucking breed, and I want to be that. Like, I want to be my own boss. I don't want to be tied down with children. And, like, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, and I'm not saying that they are, that they do tie you down. Like, I have had many of the conversations with people as in like they can't actually understand the fact that I don't want children and that actually really insults me a wee bit because it's like I'm not judging like I don't judge others for wanting children so I just don't understand why I should be judged for not wanting children so I don't know it's just not for me okay so next one is from underscore head ass underscore oh my god I literally just burped while I was saying that that is disgusting. Okay, so you had asked you get hella DMs. No, actually, I don't. Like, I do get quite a lot of messages, like, especially over Snapchat and Instagram, but not the amount that is overwhelming, if you know what I mean. Because, like, anybody that writes to me over Snapchat or Instagram, like, I will get back to them. Um, but one thing I will say, like, I take so long to get back to people. Like, I've seen me getting back to people, like, a week after they've sent me a message. I do not get DMs from boys whatsoever, which is bloody brilliant because I actually hate it whenever boys DM me. It's just like, fuck off. <laughs> I am not going to entertain you. But I do get a lot of DMs, as I say, over Snapchat and Instagram, and it's mainly DMs from like, like you guys, I'm guessing, like subscribers and stuff. And I love it. Like, I absolutely love it whenever you guys actually write to me and like ask me questions or just say to me like, hey Emma, you know, like I love your videos. I watch your videos all the time, etc., etc. And like that just warms my heart. So Shannon Maguire underscore three assumed you didn't think your YouTube would grow so quick and it would be this big love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I compare my YouTube channel to a lot of other YouTube channels in the sense that I, I still don't think that my YouTube channel is big. <laughs> At the minute I can actually even tell you how many subscribers I've got. I think it's like 70 something anyway, thousand. Um, but to me, like 
to me as a person and where I come from, that's big. Whenever people ask me how many subscribers I've got or followers I've got, I'll tell them and I'll just be like, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, oh my God. And I'm like, uh, but, you know, like people think that that's big because they don't necessarily know YouTube the way I would, such as I watch big YouTubers and I see their following. So therefore, like I would compare my following to other YouTubers following and that's how I kind of think that my channel isn't big. It's like I am pretty proud of myself that I've actually came this way so far on my own. Like nobody has helped me to get to this stage. It's just been hard work, dedication and definitely a passion. But to actually answer the question, um, you didn't think it would grow this quick. Um, no. <laughs> Like I literally just started YouTube um, as a job on the side. I didn't take it serious to start off with, whereas now it's my full-time job. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so obviously I'm now having to take it serious. Obviously, as I was saying there, like about my YouTube channel growing because I put in the passion, I put in the dedication and I put in the hard work. That's like, that's fair enough. But I could literally upload every day, but I would still be in the same place, same situation, whatever way you want to look at it, but it's you guys <laughs> that has subscribed to my channel that has made me known and has made my channel blow up as such, even though it hasn't blown up at all. <laughs> so Lily's Creations assumed you have men fall at your feet. You're absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. And no, I do not have men fall at my feet at all. <laughs> Definitely not. And I don't know why. <laughs> no, am I joking? Like, even whenever I used to go out clubbing and stuff, like, I never got male attention. Like, I never got male attention. And I don't know why. I think it was maybe because I, like, I'm very, I'm a very, very kept together person. And I was always very, like, shy and stuff. Um, that I never really let myself get attention, if that makes sense. Obviously, whenever I was younger, I'm talking maybe about 15, 16, like, I would have had more boy attention. No, obviously because we boys are just, you know, they just think of their penis and not their head. As I said previously there, like I don't get any DMs from boys. I don't get boys texting me. I don't get any boys on my Snapchat or anything. And I think it's something to do with the fact that because I do what I do and it's makeup, I don't have a lot of boys on my Snapchat. I don't have a lot of boys on my Facebook either. And I don't have boys on my Instagram because let's get real. No boy is going to want to follow me on Instagram or Snapchat. All I put up is pictures of my face. <laughs> pictures of my big caked mug. <laughs> um, before Kyle, I was with somebody else for two and a half years. And before that wanker, I was with somebody else for a certain length of years. So I've always actually been the type of girl that's always been in long-term relationships. Um, and I've always made them public. So obviously, you know, so obviously I've been thankful that boys have had the respect to actually leave me alone. <laughs> and it's been great! <laughs> so glow and glam underscore assumed you're really funny and have a great sense of humour. Thank you so much for assuming that. Of course that's true. Jesus, come on! No, I'm not joking. If I said that was true, I would be very, very big header. So this one I say isn't really a question um, that's assuming something about me. Charlene Fancy Fringe asked, most beautiful place to visit in Ireland? The goddamn whole island is absolutely beautiful. Um, but probably the nicest place in my opinion would be definitely down south. I'm obviously from the north of Ireland, um, but definitely down south um, because it's nicer down there, you know. <laughs> Definitely Connemara, um, like around Galway in Connemara. It's um, like Galway is absolutely beautiful. It's so Irish, it's amazing. But definitely like Connemara, like around the like the west coast of Ireland, beautiful. So Courtney Coyle underscore, how long did it take you to build up your following? Love your YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much, Courtney. I don't know. <laughs> January coming, um, I will be doing YouTube for two years. So my first year of doing YouTube, I had gained 10,000 subscribers. By the end of the year, it was my aim. And I tried so hard to get 
to 10k, 10,000 subscribers, and I did it, and it was absolutely amazing. Whereas my aim this year is to get to a hundred thousand. You know, there's a big difference between trying to make 10,000 in a year and 90,000 in a year. My channel started to kick off whenever I had posted up a Primark haul. If you go way back to my um, old videos whenever I first started off, I uploaded a Primark haul and that is whenever my channel kind of started to kick off. Okay, so Caitlin Canning, this is also a question, not an assume. Um, Favourite food to binge on? Prawn crackers. <laughs> That's so disgusting, but yeah, prawn crackers. I love savoury things, like do not give me chocolate or anything like that. Don't give me ice cream or any of that rubbish. Give me crisps and sweets. Mm -mm -mm. I love cheese and crackers. Oh. Okay guys, so this comes to the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I tried to answer it as many things as I could. Get all those secrets out of my big hair. <laughs> That's why it was so big, it was full of secrets. <laughs> mean girls! So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They'll all be listed down below. I'll see you guys all in my next video.